and welcome, I'm your code monkey. One of the best things that Unity makes are their free ebooks and samples. The ebooks are completely free and they're super detailed, like this one on URP. This one has 189 pages. The whole thing has an insane amount of detail going from simple things to very complex things. If you go on my website and search for ebook, you'll find a bunch of videos that I covered doing some nice high level overviews on a bunch of these ebooks. And then the samples they have, those are also pretty fun. Like this one over here showcasing a bunch of URP features in nice 2D project. There's also this nice sample to learn how UI toolkit works. There's this one on making a really nice 2D metric game. And this one is possibly my favorite one. It's talking about really nice design patterns and it has a whole bunch of interactive tutorials. I made a detailed video on this one. This one is really great. So yeah, they make tons of stuff. And now that it's the end of 2025, now they wrote a nice roundup of all of the technical content they put out throughout the entire year. This is a pretty massive page with a ton of stuff they made throughout this entire year. I know a bunch of these, but there were a bunch that I've never heard about. Like I said, these are really good, especially for the kind of person who might prefer learning through reading as opposed to watching a video. There's a ton of content over here in these ebooks that you really won't find in any other videos. So if you want to prepare yourself for 2026, if so, then I highly recommend you read through a bunch of these ebooks. For example, if in 2026 you want to get started with UI Toolkit, they've got a ton of stuff on that. So first of all, there's a really nice ebook. This is another massive ebook, 148 pages. This one covers everything about UI Toolkit. I haven't actually yet read this one. I've had basically UI Toolkit on my to-do list for many years at this point. I've wanted to make that tutorial for such a long time. Now it's very much on my priority queue, so I do think I'll be able to make a pretty massive video on UI Toolkit basically next month. And to prepare for that, I will definitely be reading throughout this. UI Toolkit is already very robust nowadays, so yep, there's definitely quite a lot of stuff to cover. And this one also has two really nice free samples. So there's a sample using the Dragon Crashers project. Basically the entire UI for this, this was entirely built using UI Toolkit. And then there's also Quiz UI. This is a nice sample, basically just a simple quiz minigame and basically just showcase many ways of using UI Toolkit. Then another very important topic that usually isn't very covered in YouTube videos just because on YouTube it's not really a topic that gets many views. That topic is really performance optimization. Although I did make a video on nice cheat sheets for how you can boost your games. And if you want further then, one interesting tool they introduced relatively recently is the Project Auditor. This is another tool that I still haven't yet looked into. It's basically a tool that does a quick checklist of your entire project and shows you a bunch of places where you might improve things. And of course this one over here also has a very nice detailed ebook. I'm pretty sure I read this one quite a while ago and I remember that it was really nice, contained quite a lot of information. Again, the whole thing, pretty massive, 93 pages long. So if you know nothing, for example, about the profiler or how to optimize your games, definitely recommend you go and read this ebook. And then they even have some more hyper-specific ebooks, for example, one for optimizing your game for mobile, XR, and web. So things that are usually very performance limited or optimize your game for PC and consoles or really just the ultimate guide for profiling Unity games. So yep, all of these have a ton of information. Something that changed relatively recently, like last year or two years ago, I think, was the AI navigation package being upgraded to 2.0. That is a completely massive difference from the previous version. And for that, thankfully, they have updated a bunch of their tutorials. So if you've got a simple game, you don't really need anything too complex to do pathfinding. Just the built-in nav mesh, usually that is going to work. Another thing that updated relatively recently is Sin Machine. Sin Machine version 3.0 is very, very different from 2.0. And for that, thankfully, they've updated a bunch of their tutorials. Although in that, I should point out that Sin Machine 2.0 still works perfectly fine. It is still a perfectly valid tool. You don't have to use 3.0. So for example, for some older tutorials, like my Ultimate Camera System tutorial, this one was made using Sin Machine 2.0. And you can still use this nowadays. Sin Machine 2.0 is not deprecated. If you want, you can use 3.0. But if you want, you can also just keep using 2.0. Then another thing that got updated relatively recently is the input system, or rather, more specifically, in the latest version, Unity 6.3. In this one, you now get a warning saying that you shouldn't be using the input manager because it's going to be deprecated in the future. So they've also updated the tutorials for the input system. I have a tutorial on this one myself, and I've literally just published a video on how to convert from the input manager to the input system. If you like focusing more on the visuals, then like I said, the rendering ebooks, these are absolutely excellent. There's also an ebook all about learning how to do visual effects and shaders. This is another really great one. It is really detailed, 152 pages. And there's another one all about using the VFX graph. This one was also updated to Unity 6. I covered this one in this video. You can also find a bunch of samples that you can just inspect to see how exactly they all work. Or something that I've actually been personally interested in for quite a while, but never actually touched is compute shaders. These seem like magic from the outside, but from what I've heard of it, once you start getting into it, it starts becoming quite a bit more understandable. And if you do want to understand it, you've got a bunch of nice video tutorials you can start learning. In terms of 2D, you've got the Happy Harvest 2D sample. This is a free sample and actually comes with a accompanying ebook. I covered an overview of that ebook in this video. If you're making 2D games, you definitely need to read this. It covers quite a lot in terms of lighting and how to make your 2D games look really gorgeous. And in the future, apparently they're going to make available the sample that they showcased on the last Unite. This one over here with the nice bunny jumping around. It shows a bunch of the latest features in Unity 6.3. This one is apparently coming to the Accessor in 2026. And doing so, they're also going to update their ebook. 
Then if you're a VR creator, they've also made a bunch of video tutorials this year. This is yet another thing that I very much want to get into. Hopefully next year I'll be able to finally tackle some VR development. Another thing that I noticed them doing, but it's not really something that I'm particularly very interested in, but maybe some of you are, is basically when it comes to live ops and monetization, they made a 10 part tutorial series all about Unity Gaming Services. They made a ton of videos showcasing how to use all these tools. Again, like I said, this is really not quite my area, since this is mostly for mobile stuff, even though all of these Unity Gaming Services, you can still use them in normal desktop games. And something else they brought back this year was Unity Tip Tuesdays. So basically every Tuesday they put out a quick short on YouTube showcasing some nice quick tip on doing something with Unity. I've watched a bunch of these every once in a while whenever they show up on my mobile. And yep, these are always pretty nice bite-sized tips. So you have quite a lot of stuff for you to read, samples for you to download in order to learn how to use Unity to the best of your ability. There's a link at the bottom of this page where you can find all the ebooks. And over here, yep, you can see them all. You've got a bunch on art and design, a bunch on DevOps, graphics and rendering, performance optimization, scripting. So yep, a whole ton of stuff depending on what exactly you're interested in. Like I said, there's a lot of knowledge contained in all of these ebooks, so if you want to learn, I highly recommend you go through them. Or if you prefer videos, just search for ebook on my website and you'll find a bunch of videos where I covered some of these. By the way, Unity is currently running their New Year sale, and importantly, right now and for the next few days, they're publishing a free asset every single day. You can see the entire list on the asset store. You've got some tools, UI, visuals, and animations. Each of them is available for only a single day, so get it quickly with the link in the description. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.